Hello everybody. This is my um tutorial on inst installing Tiversity Media Server. It is a media server that you can use to serve basically every type of media file to any any type of uh, portable device or device on your home network or better yet you could even access it remotely. Um but only in this tutorial I'm I'm just going to cover on how to use it with your Xbox 360 console. Um, so let's get started. First, thing I want to do is open Mozilla Firefox or your favorite browser, um, and go ahead and type in HTTP Tiversity dot com. T V E R S I T Y dot com. Um, once you find it, you will be brought to this page, and right now they just released release candidate six about in January which is like two weeks ago um, you can go ahead and click download right here the download is about 11 megabytes um, you might have to wait a little bit for it okay while we wait we can um, go over other things like screenshots let's see how this thing looks and let me discuss about what it can really do. All right, so in my old video, I talked about how you can use VLC Media Player to convert your video files to be played back on the 360. But as most of you will probably agree, it wasn't the fastest or easiest way to do to do that, and it was probably a pain to keep like converting videos, and sometimes it didn't even convert properly. Um. And that was over two years ago. That was before, I mean, uh, before the Tiversity Group here has been working on their project. Um, I've had Tiversity installed for about a year now, and it's great. Um, let's talk about some of the features this thing has. Um, let me see. All right, about. We can go right here. All right, so it says deliver media, media on any device. Basically, that's the point of diversity. It's not just it uh, distribute media to your uh, to your game console or anything like that. It, it could, it does, but I mean, it it can distribute to a various list of different devices. Like, you can access your media on your iPhone, your Xbox 360, your PS3, your other computers, everything. It's like pretty much anything that you want. It, this this can access. Um, this can access it as long as as long as the, the, the device itself can connect to your LAN, um, how how does it work? That's a question. I was skeptical about it too. Um, what it basically does is, instead of converting the file and then distributing it, it uses something called transcoding, which I'm sure some of you know about. Um, what it does is, while when you click, when you want, when you send a request to the diversity process on your on the media computer that you've installed it on it will tell the computer the device the device name the types of the type of file it wants and the type of file it's requesting so like let's say we're on the Xbox 360 and we're requesting a divx file from the from the media server which is going to be well, the media server meaning the computer that you have your um thing installed on your diversity installed on Tiversity automatically knows the WMV files are the best supported format for 360. But 360 does, the 360 does support other types of file formats such as um um I think it supports MPEG, but I'm not really sure. So but I know it does support Windows Media Video. And so what it does is it knows that. So it uses something called transcoding. It takes the file and only converts and converts and sends at the same time so it'll buffer for a few minutes it's like watching a YouTube video it um, you click play it'll download a little bit a little bit of it and you keep playing it and as you play it'll keep down it'll keep downloading more and more of the file to play back um, this is really effective meaning that you don't have to sit there and wait for the whole thing to convert just to watch a portion of something it's also effective because it lets you seek and find go to different parts of that file without having to convert the whole thing and it it also has something called a cache um 
where if you really like a file and you watch it often, it'll convert it and leave it in that cache. That way, next time you play that file over again, instead instead of transcoding it, it'll just send out the file in whatever format you want it in, whatever format you you requested it in before. I do recommend a few things before you go ahead and install Tiverse. Make sure you're not you you're installing Tiverse on a computer that is on 24/7. I mean, it's not completely necessary, but if you have a computer that's on 24/7, this will this will allow you to access it any time. I mean, I have my media server that's which is in this computer um, that has Tiversity running all day, so it's just some things to keep in mind. Remember that your computer does have to be on for you to access your media. So um, I just finished downloading Tiversity, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Tiversity setup icon right here, and. I'm I'm installing this under XP. I haven't tested it under Vista yet, but a lot of people have reported success, so um, should be okay. Um, yeah, you agreed to the terms. I'm not going to install the AS toolbar because I don't really want a bunch of crap on my computer. But okay, um, as you can see right here, it's installing all the files. Um, it's fairly it's a fairly fast install. And I'm also going to be um, showing you guys how it actually looks on an Xbox 360. That way, I'm not just showing you how to install the server. I'm actually showing you how to access it, too. Um, just be aware that the Xbox is the only device that I'm going to be covering in this video. So if you want support for another device, you might have to figure that out yourself. But, I mean, I'll explain how to do that as well. I just won't be showing it. Um, once it's done installing, you want to click Run the Tiverse config Configuration Wizard. Um, okay. Alright, so right here it says Auto Start, Auto Detect. Um, just don't, I don't, uh, don't click, don't check off the second one. Um, that, that's the SSDP service, Discovery Service, it's not really a big deal. Um, so if you want your computer, even if your computer reboots, you want it to keep running, yeah, make sure that you check that. Um, Windows Firewall, that'll automatically add a Windows Firewall to your, um, exceptions list. And media sharing, you go ahead and, you know, select all the folders. That way all your media is shared. Um, you can wait for it. As it configures. Um, done. Okay, you don't really need to read any of that. Um, okay, here we go. It says subscribe, subscribe to YouTube content, or and a bunch of other stuff. You don't really have to set these, but these are internet RSS feeds, which is another fear of um, of diversity. You're you're allowed to you're allowed to put uh, RSS feeds such as like Techzilla or something like that. It'll automatically have that on your show list. Um, once you get to this stage right here, it'll say diversity Kodak pack. Make sure you install this. The Kodak pack is very, very important. Um, I'm pretty sure that Tiversity wouldn't be what Tiversity is if you don't install the Kodak pack, because that way it won't have any of the codecs to decode the files with. Um, it's in, it's just another quick install. Um, the only only thing is for FF uh, D show you have to let it download separately. All right, almost there. Oh, another important thing might be make sure you have a good wireless router because unless you have unless you have your whatever device you uh you intend to share this on connected directly to the router um it's not going to be like the fat the transfer rate of the router also does matter basically that's what i'm saying okay it's going to go and install ff uh, d show has its own little installer when you get to this, just pretty much leave everything at default. 
when you get the speaker setup, make sure you choose the speaker setup that you have. I have a 4.1. Alright, uh, it's almost there. Done. Alright, see? Codec pack is finished. Now, you're going to have two options. Completing, um, yeah, let's say you completed. Now click Start Diversity Sharing Service Now and start the user interface. Be aware that the user interface and the sharing service are two different things. The sharing service will be running towards heaven without you even noticing. This is the user interface. I mean, this is what you can access. This is this is your control panel to the, to the service. You can go ahead and close this, and Tiversity will still be running. But if you do for some reason want to shut off the service, you can right-click the icon right here and click Stop Sharing, Start Sharing. It's all be self-explanatory. Um. Okay. So now we open Tiversity for the first time. Um, in your guide right here, you can add RSS feeds on videos and stuff. You have a YouTube feed right here, G4 TV. Um, it's just a bunch of feeds in general. You could this this is all stuff you could play around with. But what's important is we go to the settings and make sure everything is okay. So I'm on the settings panel right here. Um, you want to click media playback device auto auto detect so you don't have to do anything. Uh, maximum disk space. Make sure you have around eight gigs, which is what's recommended. Um, home network. You could assign a static IP address if you want. Um, I I just leave it as uh, dynamic. HTTP. Okay, everything seems to be good. On general transcoder. Everything seems to be fine. Oh, the only thing you might want to check out is right here under transcoder. Go into connection speed and quality. Make sure you select the the, the appropriate option. Um, wired if you're if you only if you only need wired uh, wired access. Um, wireless B, wireless G. Not I, it doesn't really support N yet, but I mean it doesn't mean it's not gonna work. Okay. All right. So now I click library. Now here's our um file system I'm going to go ahead and add a file to my my videos folder um where is it there we go um it's kingdom of heaven if anybody knows about that movie Just give it a second to copy. <laughs> Almost done. Oh, also be aware that this does, this can actually, um, this does take up a lot of CPU power when it is transcoding. So make sure nobody's using the computer that you're installing this on while you're trying to watch something. I mean, unless it's a really powerful computer, you're going to notice a, a, a speed difference. I'd recommend something dual core or more. Um, alright, so I have that in my, my use folder. Now I'm going to go here to the library. Then click on folders and click my video. Um, and I added I added a new file to it, so I'm gonna click I'm gonna click update. Um, it'll say success, and right now it's updating. Okay, it looks like it's done. So now I'm gonna go under over here to library and video. Click all, and as you can see, King Move Heaven pops up right here. So um, I double clicked it. We're gonna watch it. Um, let me see if it transcodes properly on here. Okay, it's for some reason it's not working on Internet Explorer, but that's typical, isn't it? Um, for some reason, I've always had trouble getting it to work on a lo on local. For some reason, local meaning watching it on your computer. All right, see on Firefox, it does show up as open with. But of course, it's just going to ask you to save the file because 
Um, it's an AVI file, and I guess it really can't play an AVI file inside the browser. Um, so that's pretty much it to setting it up. You, you just repeat all the same options for audio, video, and photos, whatever you really want to share. And over here you have internet media, you can set RSS feeds and all that stuff. You guys just really have to play around with this. Um, Alright, I'm going to stop here and now I'm going to, now you guys can go ahead and see how it looks on the Xbox 360. Hey guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to navigate to the videos that you have on Typeversity. Um, as you can see here, I have the brand new dashboard, the NXE. Um, okay, so what you do is you turn on your Xbox, make sure you log into your um, account, and make sure you are connected to, the, um, to your LAN network. Um, so then what you do is you go to My Xbox. To my Xbox tab, then you go over to uh, the video library, select it, then it'll ask you to select a source. And as you can see, it says Tiversity on my my computer's name. And then it'll show you a list of all the Tiversity files. So, I mean, the easiest way to find it would be to click all. And as you can see, the Kingdom of Heaven that I added is right there. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Then I'm going to click play. You might have to wait a few few seconds. Um, it says media update is required. You might get that error. I'm updating it right now. Okay. Okay, now it's going to say opening at the top. This is the opening of the movie. I'm going to run, let it run for a few minutes to show you the graphic details. Go ahead and shut off the lights. That's just the way this movie is. Uh, you can go ahead and forward yourself a little bit if you'd like. There we go. I'll play it right here. You know what, maybe I'll even forward a little bit more. But as you can see, even the seeking is very fast. There we go. And it's pretty good quality too, isn't it? It's beautiful. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, enjoy. It's going to be a lot easier now.